Hello everyone, this is Madhavi Karumudi, Assistant Professor in CSA Department. In this lecture, I will uh, concentrate on few more basic concepts of uh, JavaScript, that is functions and uh, pop-up boxes. Uh, let us see what is a function, how to declare the function, how to invoke the function. After that, we will move to the pop-up boxes. Uh, see, not only in JavaScript language, in any programming language, this function will play an important role. This is one of the basic building block of any programming language. So whenever you want to modularize your program or if you want to reuse your program or some of the parts of your program in another program, then definitely it's a good choice to write the functions. Let us see how to write the functions in JavaScript. Unlike C-based languages, in JavaScript, the functions function definition starts with the keyword function. Function, name of the function, followed by some optional parameters. If you want to pass the data to your function, then you can pass it through the arguments. It is not compulsory to pass the data. If you want, you can pass it. Otherwise, you can ignore it. That is the reason why these arguments are placed inside the square brackets. That indicates that optional. So followed by some set of statements, whatever task you want to perform, that task we need to write between these two curly braces. This is the way to define the function. Let us see, in any programming language, simply writing the function, that will not be happen anything. So somebody has to invoke the function. Without invoking the function, your function will not get the execution. So see how, to, how the function is invoked in JavaScript. In JavaScript, we have three ways to invoke the function or three ways to call the function. One way is traditional way, just like a C-based languages, by using the function name, you can call it. Second way is automatically, without writing the call statement also, you can execute the function definition. Okay, so whenever the page is loaded, the function self invocation will be done. Automatically, it will be invoked okay third is we can attach our function to some of the form elements so at that case whenever you click on that particular form element automatically your form element will initiate the execution of the function by generating the event so these are the three main ways to invoke the function in javascript let us see all these things one by one First, I'll show you the uh, normal way of invoking the function with example. See this code once. So I already told you in the first session, always the JavaScript code is written inside the HTML tags. So for running your JavaScript uh, program, so no need to install any software. Normal browser software is enough, right? And directly, you should not insert your JavaScript code inside the HTML page. Compulsory, your JavaScript is written inside the script tags. Right? See HTML head. You can write this script tag either in the head section or in the body section. Or you can also write the uh, write any number of script tags in the HTML page. See here, I am writing the function definition in the head section. Okay, here my function name is message. Inside the message, I am not doing any task. I am just printing the message. Hello, this is a message. Right? So in JavaScript, we have write method for printing the message on the browser window. So this write object belongs to the document object. Why? Because the output will be displayed on any HTML page in the document area of the window only. That is the reason why every method will be invoked by using document object. Now, here I have written the function definition. I am closing the script tag and I am also closing the head tag and here I am writing the body tags inside the body tag i want to invoke the function okay i want to call the function so again if you want to call the function you have to write that call statement inside the script tags only otherwise your browser cannot understand your browser cannot understand javascript your browser can understand only tag type language that is the reason why everything we need to write inside the tags only so here i am writing message function calling statement inside the script tag right so whenever this page is loaded uh, once the page is over then save this file with dot html extension then simply run it by double clicking on that file automatically it will open the output see here 
whenever the function is loaded it will uh, page is loaded into the document window it will invokes it will calls the message function automatically control goes to the message function then it will display the message like hello this is message see the example um, uh, output for this program okay just double click on that automatically whenever it is loaded it will print the message like this right now come back to the uh, another slide and uh, here um, your for your java functions javascript functions you can also pass some data to the function so if you want to pass the data just now i told you you have to pass through the arguments so see how to pass the functions using arguments so here i am writing one uh, uh, in this function i am showing one more demo how to invoke the function using uh, uh, events by generating the events that is also i am showing here same content script tag inside the script tag i am writing the function definition here my function name is get cube so i want to calculate the cube of a number okay that number i am taking from the user i mean as a parameter right now inside the function definition here i am writing the cube function number into number into number whenever it is invoked this value will be calculated and that will be printed on the screen by using document dot write method right now see i am closing the script tag now i am writing form tag inside this form i am creating one button okay here i am creating one button by using input tag for that button i am giving the name as click okay so with the name click it will create one button whenever you click on that particular button on click event will be generated okay whenever you click on this button on click event will be generated so whenever that event is generated here i am assigning a function called statement to this on click event right so that means whenever you click on the button on click event will be generated when that will be generated automatically it will call the get cube method by passing four as a parameter okay let us see the output of this program also see just now i told you here i have created one button with the name click just see the button here click whenever i click on the button request goes to the function then the function body will be executed by passing value right so here we are getting the answer as 64 right uh, see one more way to call the functions and your functions may not i mean uh, not only accepting the value sometimes it can also return some value to the user if your function is returning something you have to return it by using return statement right let us see how to return the value from the function so here i have written one small program small function function name is get info this in this function i am returning some message to the caller okay so who is calling this function to that person or to that location i am returning this message by using return statement now see whenever the script is loaded into the browser window automatically here itself here just see this code document dot write of get info here i am calling get info method directly inside the write function right so automatically here get info method will gets executed inside the get info method here we are returning this string okay so whatever that string comes to this caller whenever that string is received it will print the same string on the browser window by using write method okay so see this execution this function execution also function 3 so whenever it is loaded automatically it is displaying the message like hello user how are you okay so like this we can also uh, not only take accepting the values your functions can also return the values or return something to the user by using return statements let us see the next concept uh, uh, pop up boxes this is very very important one so generally if you open any kind of website mostly we will see uh, some of the pop up boxes some of the pop up boxes will appear on the screen so it may be for displaying warning messages or it may be sometimes uh, uh, take some input from that uh, user or it may be uh, take some for taking some confirmation message uh, will uh, some uh, small kind of boxes will appears on the screen so those boxes we are calling it as a 
dialog boxes or pop up boxes so how to create that dialog boxes or pop up boxes using javascript languages here uh, we have some methods predefined methods are available in javascript by using those methods we can create the pop up boxes so these pop up boxes are mainly used in the web applications for displaying some message or sometimes for displaying the uh, notification to the user giving notification to the user let us see what are the categories of those uh, boxes so we have uh, three categories of uh, dialog boxes first one is alert dialog box so this alert dialog box is used for displaying some warning messages okay sometimes uh, uh, suddenly uh, we can see some kind of uh, warning messages on the screen whenever you open uh, uh, some websites right so those boxes we are calling it as a alert dialog boxes so for creating this alert dialog box in javascript we have one predefined method called as alert method okay similarly we have one more dialog box we can see confirmation dialog box sometimes while while closing the windows it will ask you for the confirmation whether you want to continue or not right so if you click on the okay it will consider it as okay or if you uh, uh, click on close but cancel button then it will be terminated right so for displaying that kind of confirmation dialog boxes we have a confirm method in javascript we we'll use confirm method for creating the confirmation dialog boxes similarly we have prompt dialog box so for creating this prompt dialog box we have prompt method okay let us see all these uh, dialog boxes one by one with example programs first see the alert pop up box so in javascript this alert box is used for displaying some warning messages okay whenever the alert box is displayed to the user the user needs to press okay button to proceed so here there is no other alternative that, that is just a, a warning message so we have to accept it so it will contain this alert dialog box contain only one button okay button you have to uh, press okay button to proceed right now see the alert dialog box looks like this this is a warning message and a small window kind of message uh, box here we can see one button like uh, okay if you click on okay automatically it will proceeds now see how to create this kind of alert boxes in javascript for creating this kind of alert boxes we we'll use alert method okay see how to use the alert method same code html head body form inside the form i am writing i am creating one button okay here my button name is click me click me right and whenever i click on this button definitely one event will be generated on click event will be generated so whenever on click event is generated i want to call my function my function right here function name is name itself my function okay whenever i write this statement whenever i click on the button automatically your control comes to the my function and whatever code you have written inside the my function will gets executed so inside my function i have written one uh, statement just see the statement here i am writing alert of button was clicked what is the meaning of the statement whenever i click on click me button it should call the my function and inside the my function i am creating one alert box by using alert method on that alert box dialog box i want to display this message like right? button was clicked so in place of this is warning message here it will display in this example it will display button was clicked just see the uh, execution process of this program just save that file with dot html extension just double click on it see here i one, uh, one button is created with the name click me right whenever i click on that it is displaying one alert box okay with the title button was clicked see here we have okay button if you click on okay button that request will be accepted okay so see that is about uh, alert dialog box now see the second category of dialog box prompt dialog box so when this prompt dialog box is used here is whenever you want to take some input from the user 
for further purpose or for future purpose if you, for uh, data processing then we need to use prompt dialog box so here on that prompt dialog box we will we'll see two buttons okay button and cancel button after entering the required details in that uh, uh, prompt dialog box you have to press okay button if you press the okay button automatically it will proceed to the next stage or if you uh, click on cancel button then uh, it will return null value to the uh, called function right so this is the uh, prompt dialog box so this prompt uh, for creating this prompt dialog box we need to use prompt method so that prompt method takes two parameters first parameter is whatever name you want to display on that uh, prompt dialog box that name we need to pass as a first parameter second parameter is optional if you want to pass second parameter if you pass some value as second parameter that value will be that text will be displayed by default in the text box so if you want to enter your own uh, text you have to just clear the text and you have to enter your text otherwise that default text will be considered it as your text okay so as i said here i have uh, here we can see two buttons okay button and cancel button whenever you click on this okay button automatically this entered uh, input will be accepted if you click on the cancel button then it will return the null value right so see the output of this uh, uh, prompt dialog box also uh, i already already created one prompt uh, dialog box see the code first see the code first how to create this prompt dialog box so here as usual html head inside the script tag we need to write the function here my function name is get value okay so here for getting the value from the user i am creating the prompt dialog box all right just now i told you this pro, uh, create for creating prompt dialog box i need to call prompt method that prompt method takes two parameters right first one is name that is to be displayed on the prompt dialog box and the second parameter is some default text that is to be displayed in the text box okay now whatever value the user is entering that value will be captured and that value will be placed in the variable ret value okay just for displaying purpose i am printing whatever value that you that user is entering i am printing that message by using document dot write method okay now here see inside my form i am creating one button with the name click me as usual i am calling the above function get value function by generating the on click event right see the output of this program prompt dialog box so here it is displaying some message click the following button to see the result right so just click on that button it will display the prompt dialog box like this here you just enter some text whatever you want here i am entering my name okay after entering the name you just click on okay button if you click on okay button it is displaying you have entered value as madhavi suppose if you see one more uh, uh, one more time prompt one okay click me it is displaying prompt dialog box you are without entering any content i am just clicking the cancel button let us see how it is displaying the output you have entered null right if you click on okay whatever value that user is entering in the text field that will be submitted to the uh, page if you click on the cancel then automatically null value will be written to the page all right this is about prompt dialog box so generally this prompt dialog box is used for accepting the input from the user now see the third category of for dialog box that is confirmation dialog box most to frequently we will see this con uh, confirmation dialog box on uh, uh, web pages in our daily life okay so a confirmation dialog box allows us to uh, i mean it is used for uh, uh, taking the permission from the user whether the user wants to uh, proceed or not okay if the user wants to proceed with that page then he has to click okay button if he want to uh, if he doesn't to proceed then he has to click the cancel button 
now see the confirmation dialog box will looks like this so generally this kind of message we can see on the confirmation dialog box do you want to continue or not if you click on okay it will be accepted it will return true value if you click on cancel it will return false value so how to create this confirmation dialog box is in javascript we have confirm method confirm c o n f i r m confirm method so for that confirm method we need to pass this text as a parameter whatever text you want to display on the pop up box the text we need to pass okay so see the example uh, example uh, for this confirmation dialog uh, dialog box how to create this confirmation dialog box see this code try to understand this code very simple logic so inside the head section i am writing some javascript code using the script tag so here i am writing one function get confirmation function okay so inside this function i am creating confirmation dialog box by using confirm method see this function confirm method okay so on con, uh, confirmation message dialog box i want to display the message like do you want to continue right so that string we need to pass as a parameter so whatever value with this confirmation dialog box will be created with okay and cancel button right whenever you click on okay button it will return something so it will return true value so whatever value it is returning i am capturing that value and i am storing that value in the variable ret val right so after that i am comparing what the user is entered whether the user is entered a clicked okay button or cancel button if it is okay that value will be true so if it is okay just i want to print one message like user wants to continue okay suppose if the user clicks cancel button then automatically it will returns false value right so if the return value is false this condition will be failed so the else block will be executed so uh, inside the else block i have written one statement for printing user doesn't want to continue right now i am invoking this function i am invoking this function by using again by generating the event from the button okay so here i am creating the input tag, button button with the name click me again so uh, by clicking on that uh, click me button i want to execute that function let us see the output of this uh, uh, confirmation dialog box also see the same thing click the following button to see the result just click me whenever you click on the uh, button it is displaying confirmation dialog box so here it is showing do you want to continue if you click on okay then what happens user wants to continue it is returning true because of that it is displaying user wants to continue suppose if you cancel that the button if you cancel that button just click on cancel so here it is displaying the message like user does not want to continue that means your cancel button is returning your cancel button is returning the false value this is all about uh, uh, pop up boxes so all these pop up boxes will frequently see in our uh, um, uh, business applications while accessing the most of the business applications so this is about uh, functions and uh, pop up boxes available in javascript in next session i will come up with a new topic so thank you thank you one and all